Well, we are starting a new segment every Sunday morning, focusing on the health for you and your family. SSM Health's Dr. Ropa Shaw will be sharing tips and tricks to keep everyone healthy. In today's segment, News 3 Now, this morning's Chris Stanford and Leah Linscheid talk to Dr. Shaw, who has the best ideas for sunscreen for you and your family. With summer here and all that sun in the forecast this week, you might be thinking about what's best for sunscreen for your family. Yeah, really good question. Dr. Rupa Shah from SSM Health is joining us now. She's a family practitioner and a health and wellness coach. She's talking about how to keep our families healthy under the sun. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. Absolutely. So what, I guess, are some of the things we should be considering when we're buying sunscreen? So. You may want to think about what um, type of sunscreen you want. There's mineral sunscreens, you know, that contain zinc oxide, titanium dioxide, um, and there's chemical sunscreens. Um, the mineral sunscreens act more like a physical barrier. Hmm. It can be a little bit harder to kind of rub into your skin, but they offer broad spectrum UVA, UVB protection. Chemical sunscreens work a bit differently. They absorb more into your skin. Um, they're a little bit easier to apply but they do contain chemicals. So if that's a concern to you, um, or if you have young children, you should definitely avoid those. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, they may have heard about some popular sunscreens that were just found to have a carcinogen in them. What should we know about this? Yeah, so um, they were found to have trace amounts of benzene. So this is different than the um, ingredients that are in chemical sunscreens. Those are um, benzones. Um, so benzene is a carcinogen, not safe in any amount. They're looking into these products and um, the FDA may even eventually recall some of these. So there is um, there are some websites you can go to to see uh, if your sunscreen that you have at home is on that list and you should definitely avoid it. Yeah, check out those lists for sure. Yeah, Spray sunscreens are really popular. I love yeah. them, they seem to go on faster, but are yeah. they effective, are they safe? They're definitely effective. They have been shown to be effective if you use them properly. So again, you have to spray them close to your skin, really rub them in well. The risk with spray sunscreens is they're aerosolized, right? So you can get them in your eyes. Um, yeah. If you have asthma or other lung conditions, the inhalant um, can be a problem for your lungs. So just to be a little cautious with them, but if that's the sunscreen you have, any sunscreen is better than no sunscreen. Yeah. I have little kids yeah. and I use that spray sunscreen on the yeah. kiddos all the time. And one mm -hmm. thing we don't do is like rub it in. So if I, mm -hmm. if I spray them down, I should also be rubbing it in too, huh? Yeah, and make sure you're getting really close to their skin so you can see how much you've okay. applied and then really rub it in and make sure to reapply every two hours. Wow. Yeah. Great information. Dr. Thanks. Shaw, thanks for joining us. Absolutely. Next week, we're going to be talking about weight loss, so join us then. For now, back to you.